Hello and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey with me, Matthew Caddis, aka Poogie. So, uh, I am going to get the second uh, power moon inside the area with the Poogies. So yeah, and this still took me a fair while to get. Seriously. So, uh, once again defeat the ogre, go inside here, and then make your way up the gigantic tower. And this can be a bit of a pain, as I mentioned. So yeah, so get the po Pokio, and if we're going through from the bottom, uh, we have to make our way around here. Now I can, o I always um, have the problem of hitting the b bottom of the thing there. Not easy at all. And climbing down here with the Pokio is a damn chore, if you ask me seriously. And that's the only one I will leave in. This, I think, is my um, uh, good um, run on the thing. Yeah, seriously. Getting around corners with the Pokio is really annoying. Seriously, really annoying. Well, that's not something I like seeing about um, a Mario game, but yeah, it is. Anyway, get the key, and then let's see if I get this right. Because, firstly, there's that Pokio there. Let's get rid of him before he gets in our way again. And yes, he will respawn. We can indeed head to that little letterbox-shaped um, opening there in order to get ourselves upwards. That's a little easier than, um, well, doing the other thing. In the other, Another thing you don't have to worry about while... Um, um, holding on to one of these perforated uh, sections of the um, tower is that you do not have to hold down the uh, Y button. That is good um, in order to keep the uh, Pokio in place. Um, something that I am glad for because I do remember some other games holding down a button, for example, when you're holding on for dear life. Not so with these birdies, it seems. So, indeed, I'm very low there. And then just get to the top again and then get the moon. So, yeah, nothing too hard. Well, no, that's actually the harder of the two ones. And it just didn't look that hard on that try. Uh, I needed a lot of patience for that, and I'm not the most patient person. Anyway, that being said, let's go to... I'm not going back in there. I've got both power moons, so I am going back to where the... Um, where we fought the um, Brudels here, on the Mecha Brood anyway. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. So, where am I going? Beneath the Keep. Of course, that is where the uh, Cooper foot race is, and I did have a go at the Master Cup. It's re relatively similar, actually, to the um, uh, regular Cup, except, of course, we will have to deal with the Golden Cooper, who always chases us, and he's always very, very fast. So I'm just going to leave this attempt in. I'm not going for this moon because it just frustrated me so seriously. But I will leave it in anyway for posterity. Because, yeah, that Green Cooper could easily um, be an A-class racer. Seriously. He could also do well in the glitz pit, just saying. Yeah, I think uh, King K has a bit of competition there if he does decide to enter the glitz pit. But, yeah, the Golden Cooper is easily faster. And even with the... F Although I am able to motion control roll... Out motion control rule, and yes, I am playing this with my uh, things, uh, with my um, thing. Uh, what's it? And I really shouldn't have hit the thing there. That's one of the things that really trips me up when doing the roving racing. Anyway, that being said, yeah, I'm going straight to the next moon, and that is to go to the area with the Pokios and that pool. Uh, right where we fought uh, both Topper and Harriet, and yes, it is Harriet, not Harlot, um, for the second time. So, yeah, not Harlot at all, it is Harriet. I got it wrong twice, so I, my original pronunciation was correct. Anyway, what we want to do here is ground pound the central box is here to get the power moon, and it will emerge on the left side of the pond. So, yeah. Make sure you have plenty of um, air to get it, of course. 
and then quickly go back up for air. I don't know if you air refill. Yes, it does refill. Okay, good. Next, I want to capture one of these poor gears. I knocked one into the water, so I can't get that one. And I knocked both of them into the water. Very annoying. Because we do need the poor gears for the next one. They do respawn. One of them already did. And I nearly got very close to his bill there. Anyway, what I want to do is jump over here. Get rid of the, the spiny. Go around to the perforated area. And then make my way upwards because from the top of here we will see that these bowser bombs are being barreling down here and we want to use them as a bowling ball to blow up one of those crates so yeah but firstly we need to have them kind of activate yes apparently they don't come automatically rolling down for you you have to make your way up there so yeah but they will do after that so we have to aim carefully here. This is not easy at all uh, because the the bombs can easily hit either side of the bridge there, which is very annoying. But them's the bricks, I guess. So yeah, let's position Mario that way. No, nope, that's not it. And I got hit by one because I stood right under them. There is a kind of drop shadow, um, so. Uh, if you do that, you will be able to avoid getting hit by one of them. Thankfully, I was able to knock one of them into one of those two boxes on the right. And then we can just make our way over to, to, the, to the Power Moon. And there we go. Yeah, it's another of those Ron Seal ones. And those were exactly what it says on the tin. The next one, well, I kind of jumped the gun here. What I want to do instead is not go to the Odyssey. No. Instead, I want to find some artwork. Yeah, this is another found with artwork moon. So yeah, and the artwork in question is located to the right of the gate we uh, just blew up. So yeah, and to get this moon, um, we have to go back to the Sand Kingdom. Oh yes, we're going back to Tostarena. Yeah, seriously. So, indeed, let's go there, and, um, indeed, place Cappy, and go that way. Yeah, seriously. So, I want to go to the, as I say, the Sand Kingdom, indeed, to Tost Arena. I will skip this, and head straight there, as I say. So, where do we want to go for this? Well, actually, it is in the Moor Eye Habitat. Yes, though we won't need to actually capture one of the uh, more eyes there, thankfully. And I might as well appreciate the beautiful scenery, I don't know. But, no, I'm going straight to the more eye habitat. And um, then what I want to do from here is head to the rightmost pillar there. And behind there is a cactus. That is where we want to... Um, um, ground pound to get the moon yes right in the shadow of said cactus there we go and indeed there is the moon so on the next episode i believe we will do more uh, power moons within bowser's kingdom so i will see you then goodbye